In this tip, I'm going to show you how to add a plus minus indicator to a drill down action so that you can see which dimension has been drilled down. Here's an example of what we're talking about. So notice here the categories each have a minus sign in front of them because none of them have been selected. Once I click on furniture, it now has a plus sign so you can tell which one has been drilled in. And then you see the subcategories below that. Click on furniture again and it goes back. I can click on technology and then it has a plus sign. How do we build it? Okay, so let's first start by just building a simple chart so we can see what we're talking about. So let's say we want to have a chart that's by region and state and we want sales on the columns. So I'm going to go ahead and sort my regions first by sales and then I'm going to sort my state next also by sales. Okay, so now we kind of have a nested sort there. Notice how we also have these sort indicators on here. I don't want my users to be able to accidentally click those. So on the worksheet menu, I'm going to uncheck show sort controls. What we want to do now, now though, is we sort of want to mimic when I create a hierarchy between region and state. Notice I get a little minus sign next to region up here in the view. If I click minus, it drills back to the region level. But when I click plus, I see all states. What I don't, I don't want that to happen. I want to only see the state that, or it's the states for the region that I selected. So let's go ahead and remove that hierarchy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set based on the region. And I'll just leave it called region set. And for now, I'll just pick the central region. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that on color so that we can see which region has been selected. Let's go ahead and remove state from the view. Let's create a new calculated field, and let's call this one region as well. And I'm going to say if region set, so if the item is in the set, then I want to add a plus with a space, and then plus region. Otherwise, I'm going to use minus, and then plus the region. Okay, let's drop that onto the view next to region. And now we can see we have our plus and our minus. The next thing I want to do though is I want to show only show the sub uh, the, sorry the states for the region that I selected. So I'm going to create a new calculated field, and I'm going to say if region set, then state, else blank, end. Hit OK. And let's put that in the rows. And now we only see the states for the region we selected. Let's go ahead and sort that by the field sales descending. Great. So what I can do now is my regions are still sorted. I'm going to go ahead and hide the header for my first region field. And now I need to set up my action. So I'm going to go up to Worksheet, Actions. And on, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a change set values action. I'm going to update the region set. I'm going to choose it on select. The target set I want to create is sample superstore region set. I'm going to go ahead and change this to all in the workbook. And I'm going to assign the values to the set. But when I click it again, I want to remove the states. So I'm going to choose remove all values from the set. I also want to only allow my users to pick one region at a time, so I'm going to choose this single select only option. Hit OK twice, and now when I click on east, it drills down, west, it drills down, etc. Okay, and then if I want to go back, I can just click on south, and now I have a minus sign. Now for me, instead of using the plus and the minus, I like to use little dot indicators. So on my region calculation, I'm going to change this to be a closed circle. So I'm going to go to my ASCII keyboard and I'm going to put in a circle and then uh, otherwise I want to use an open circle. So let's see if I have an open circle in here. Okay so maybe something like uh, maybe maybe even something like this. Okay let's hit OK and now we can see we get a nice little filled dot 
And there you go. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Please share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications of any future videos I create. Have a good day.